What's going on? It is day... Oh, what day is it? I don't even know. It's day six. Guess who's here? Chloe. Hey. Come here. Come here, Chloe. Chloe. Say hi. Don't show my messy room. Okay, we are about a week in. That's kind of crazy. Uh, let me say my verse before I forget it. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. <sighs> in To the which also ye be called into one body and be ye thankful. I think I got that. To the which also ye are called into one body and be ye thankful. I'm pretty sure I got that. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called into one body and be ye thankful. <laughs> I got it. Colossians 3.15. Cool. So there's that. That was day five and six. Uh, Ephesians 5.20 is actually the verse that was in my Bible reading the other day. So that's to, that's day seven and eight. Okay, so I have not been marking these off on my 30-day challenge, but I have been doing them. Today I did 35 sit-ups, 15 crunches, 15 leg raises, and I'm dropping everything. And a 25-second plank. So I did that. What else happened today? School? No, it didn't. Work happened, and then I went to school to tutor. That was fun. Hey, day six. My verse was Romans one seventeen. Move your butt, Chloe. Where's my Bible? You know, honestly, there's just some days I don't feel like making these videos. Today is one of those days. I just want to go to bed. But I'm going to do it because I said I would do it. All right. And I don't feel like being funny either. Romans 1.17. Uh, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as is written, the just shall live by faith. So what I got out of my Bible reading today was that the just, those that trust in the Lord, those that are Christians, shall live by faith. Someone at my door. No. Um... Something I think about with the word shall rather than will is um, will is kind of a word that it's going to happen. Shall kind of depends upon the person. So the just shall live by faith doesn't mean they will. It means it's depending on the ju it depends on if they're just. If they're just, then they will live by faith. Does that make sense? Like in a rule book, uh, this person shall do this. Well, that that's based on that person. See what I'm saying? If I say, uh, I I don't know how how to explain that. Well, it's kind of an English thing, I guess. I don't really want to explain that. Except at Walmart, if you live in Auburn, go through the lines. And look at the look at the note to the cashier's right. It uses a double negative. It's quite funny. It says something about uh, attention cashier. Uh, you cannot give. Let's say you cannot give change under no circumstances. I'm like, what? Does it really say that? That's terrible. So if you live in Auburn, go check that out. It's quite hilarious. Okay, today I was thankful that I had the opportunity to work as a lab. That I have the opportunity to work as a lab assistant. It's really cool to be able to uh, be under a teacher and help teach, basically. What I do is there's like 18 other, well, I say other guys, but there's also one girl, one married woman, I guess you would say, in the uh, class that I help um, with lab time, answer questions, stay for if they have homework questions. It's basically a class that I've been in, that I've that I have taken in the past, that I did well in, that I was asked to help with. So, I am thankful for that opportunity because that's going to look great on a resume. So, slap that on my resume, and I get paid for it too. So that's cool. And then when the, it's great, it's fun. So tomorrow I have school. I might be able to pick up my car tomorrow. That's pretty cool. 
Um, but I'm not positive about that yet. We shall see. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, hopefully I'll be in a better mood. I don't know. I'm in a kind of a crummy mood. Oh, well. Someone's outside my door. Who is it? I don't know. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.